Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably see by the title, today's video is going to be a baby registries must haves. All the items that you should add to your baby registry as you are preparing for your new little blessing to come into your life. There is a lot of things that you need and it can get pretty overwhelming. So I hope this video is a good compiled list for you that can be helpful while you're making your registry. I will have every single product linked in the description down below so you can just easily make your registry that way. Also, if you notice that my face looks a little like lopsided or swollen, I had my wisdom teeth removed like 48 hours ago, so still a little bit swollen, but I feel good enough to film the video. So the first step in making a registry is figuring out where you're going to register at. So you can do like Target, Amazon, uh, bet, what's it, Bye Bye Baby, like different places like that. But my favorite place to register was Babylist. This video isn't sponsored. I hope one day I can be sponsored by them. But my favorite place to start was Babylist because you can add items from any website onto your Babylist registry. You're not limited to the website just like Amazon or Target. So that is why I really liked Babylist and that's where I made my original registry. So I would recommend you start there too. So to make this easier, I put all of the items into categories. So the first one that we're going to start with is sleep. So as soon as your baby is born, they're going to start sleeping all the time and they are going to pretty much need to be swaddled just because they're used to that tight feeling in the womb and they have that startle reflex where it will wake them up, like they'll do this with their hands and that will wake them up. Starting to swaddle them for all of their naps is really essential. So I have three here that I'll show you. Um, we started first with the Halo sleep sacks. These are really nice, affordable simple sleep sacks um, that you just wrap these as tight as you need it. So this was really good for like the itty bitty newborn phase. This is what we use in the hospital and then um, probably like a couple weeks to a month when we had her home and sleeping in the bassinet by our bed. Then we transitioned her to the Ollie Swaddle. Um, this is a little bit more expensive, but we love this so much. She slept so well in the Ollie. Um, it just keeps both their arms down and you just wrap them like a little burrito. So we love this so much. Definitely worth the money and the hype. We love this so much and I'll definitely be using this for future babies. So this is probably what she used the longest in the newborn phase. And then we did, I'm trying to like remember everything because my daughter is a year old now. She just turned a year on September 2nd and it's, I think it's the 15th today. So, um. She just turned one, so it's like literally been a year since we did all this, so I'm trying to remember everything. Um, but when we had her in the Ollie, we used that at nighttime, and then for the daytime, um, we had her in the Love to Dream. The reason why we did two different swaddles is we wanted to transition and have her adjust to like daytime sleep versus nighttime sleep. So just, you know, creating routines at night, one of them being being in the Ollie swaddle, I think that helped her decipher like morning, day. I think that helped her decipher day daytime and nighttime. So that's why we use the love to dream um, in the daytime. Also, this is just a lot thinner. Um, it keeps their arms up. So if your baby like refuses to have their arms down when swaddled, definitely check out the love to dream. I think it's good to just have like one of each different type of swaddle. Don't go crazy and buy a ton of different ones because your baby might not like it. So, you know, just try a few. I would get the Halo, the Ollie if you can afford that. It's like $50, I think, but I think it's worth it. And then definitely one of the love to dreams. I would try those ones out. Next essential sleep item is the hatch rest sound machine. This is so nice. You just plug it into the wall and you can control it with your phone as well or just like hold it. If you just hold it down, it will turn on the light if you have it set to that and it will turn on the music. Um, there's tons of different sounds you can choose from, like simple as white noise to ocean to rain to lullabies. So many different sounds. Um, I like that it can be a night light as well and I really like that you can adjust it from your phone. Definitely worth the money and definitely something that you should put on your baby registry. To go along with the sound machine, um, to be able to bring one with you while you're on the go, I would recommend this. This is the Hush sound machine. So if your baby is used to using the sound machine when they take naps, this is good for when you have to be out and about and you know you just want to put a car seat cover over them, attach this to the car seat, turn on the white noise, and they'll go right to sleep with this. So definitely recommend this one. Next up in this category is her baby monitor. And I wasn't too picky, um, but I really, I saw the lollipop 
baby monitor and I loved it so I put that on the registry and somebody kindly gifted that to us and we have loved it so much it's so nice because you can just wrap it on the crib um, when she got bigger and could pull it down we had this little like olive tree by the side of her bed so we, we wrapped it there um, you can wrap it on the like curtain rods it's very practical and nice if you don't want to like mount something to your wall um and also we don't have really have like much outlet space so that worked out really well for us um the downside is it doesn't have like a separate monitor so you use an app on your phone so i know some people don't like that or they don't like that it um, connects to wi-fi but it wasn't really something that i was really too concerned about so we have loved it um it has a feature where you can have the camera off but just have the sound playing on your phone throughout the night um, so that's worked really well for us and we've loved the lollipop so if you're looking for a good monitor that is really like updated and can do cool things I would check out that one and then for a bassinet we use the halo bassinet I got mine off Facebook marketplace for like $50 it worked out well for us we transitioned Amelia to the crib in her room probably earlier than most people do I don't remember exactly but probably like less than two months so I definitely w I'm glad I didn't pay full price for the halo bassinet I'm glad I got it you know used for $50, which did good for the time being be when I needed her at the bedside. Um, but that it worked really well. It has a feature where you can like, you know, push down the front, just reach over and get your baby. Um, so that was nice. It can adjust to the height of your bed because our bed's pretty tall. So I like that she could be literally like right at the bedside and not like low down. So I have to bend over. So I really liked that one and I'd recommend it. For sleepers, I would recommend any sleeper that has the zipper that goes up and down. Super easy for nighttime changes. Um, we got ours from Target, Old Navy, and then Kite Baby mostly. Um, so this two pack set is just from Old Navy, or sorry, this one's from Target. It's just like a little girly set. They also have one for boys too. I think they do still sell it, so of course I'll have that link down below. But I love the double zipper, and it's made out of that like viscose material, so it feels like bamboo. It's just really stretchy and nice. Um, so we love these. These are the zero to three, and they run a little bit big, so I would get the newborn as the first size. And then here is like a kite baby sleeper. Um, love this because it's made from bamboo, so it's really stretchy, soft. Um, we really like it. It has the up and down zipper, and since it's so stretchy, like your baby can wear this for a while. This was zero to three, and she wore this probably to like six months. But then again, she's also not the biggest baby. So check out tight kite target and old navy for sleepers definitely really all your baby will be in at the first few months of life okay next i'm gonna put this in the sleep category even though they don't really use it for sleep but it's good to have blankets for your baby but you don't need a hundred i bought so many blankets like just cute muslin print blankets they're just that was so unnecessary um so i just want to show you the ones that we use the most and that i would recommend first being the copper pearl um, stretchy cotton knit swaddle this we use so often really good as just like a cover-up so stretchy so soft um, you can use this as like a burp cloth too it really has so many uses and I just love the pattern of this sorry the lighting is changing and I don't like it anymore but whatever um, copper pearl has so many different prints and patterns and I just love how soft it is this was definitely one that was always in our diaper bag I also love the Serenoni blankets um, they're kind of like a dupe of the barefoot dreams they're just that really soft stretchy material so this is just a little one um, it's super small but it's great for the car seat because you don't want to put like a blanket in their car seat that overwhelms them and it's just unsafe so I loved how small this one was perfect car seat size just to put over your baby and kind of tuck in underneath their legs um, since she was born in September we use this all the time in the winter to keep her warm so definitely recommend this and you can get both of these on Amazon okay moving on to nursing if you are a mama that is going to be nursing you're definitely going to need some nipple cream so the one that I got and ended up loving was by the honest brand it's the calm your knit balm I love this this works so well I mean I didn't really have any issues with um, like cracking peeling bleeding anything like that and I don't necessarily attribute it to this but I did use this as like a preventative measure but I did use this after every feeding session and before every pump session and what I really loved about this it says it's unscented mm, no it's not but it smells like bananas and it smells so good 
I love this so much. So this is the nipple butter that I recommend you get. I loved it. Then for nursing bras, nursing bras are a whole new world. And I'm looking at these and I'm like appalled at how large my boobs were. <laughs> they still are, but like, wow. Wow, wow. Um, but the bras that I ended up loving and recommend to everybody are from H&M. And they're the H&M Mama Nursing Bra. And here, let me show you them. Get these big boys out. So what I loved about these was that they're padded and not like super thin, but the padding wasn't removable. It was just made into the bra. So when you wash them, which you will be doing a lot because milk is going to get all over them and spit up and you know, all that fun stuff. When you throw it in the wash, the biggest pet peeve of mine was when the insert would come out and you have to re put it back in so many times a week. It was so irritating. So finding these from H and M that were still padded, but didn't have that removable insert was was just a game changer for me. They come in a pack of two, I think for like $30 or less, so like 15 each. Um, I have like a pink, a white, a black. I bought so many packs of these and never going back to any other nursing bras. Love these, love how affordable. Yes, put this on your registry or just buy it for yourself. As far as breast pumps, I wanted to mention the Medela Manual Hand Pump which worked so well for me. Um, it's so affordable and it was so nice for on the go. I use this even to pump at work, which next time I think I'll use like a Spectra or a Willow at work, but um, just to kind of save time and efficiency and I think it like pumps better. Um, but the actual hand pump when I was, you know, at my prime time of nursing and getting the most milk, I could empty in like five minutes on one, like 10 minutes total. It was super efficient, worked so well, didn't like hurt at all. I just loved the Medela hand pump so much. I recommend it to everybody, you have to get it. Then you've probably heard about this so many times, but it is worth the hype. Sorry about my dog. This is the Hakka. This is kind of like a manual breast pump, but or like a milk catcher. Um, the use of it is when you're nursing your baby on one side, you just flip this over like this. You open it and then you put it right over your nipple and then kind of squeeze and it will suction. Obviously it's not doing it to my dress, it has to be on skin, but it just suctions and that little suction will catch all the letdown. And I was um, a mom that didn't really have like a crazy letdown. If I didn't have this on, milk wouldn't be dripping out, but I still would get at least like two to three ounces every breastfeeding session because of the suction in it. So you don't have to have a crazy letdown for this to work. Um, the suction that it provides will will give you a letdown. Um, so this was really nice to you know get your milk stash at the beginning and not have to worry about doing so much pumping, which is really exhausting. So definitely recommend this. It's really affordable and every breastfeeding mom needs this. Not every mom is gonna need this, but I wanted to mention it because I needed it and I'm so glad that I heard about it somehow because it really like saved our breastfeeding journey. And those are nipple shields so Amelia was born at 38 weeks and she was really small like 5 pounds 12 ounces so she was not a good latcher um, breastfeeding just was not going well it was like I wasn't stressed about it it's just I'm so glad I found out about these so soon because she would latch to the nipple shield and so we were able to breastfeed and then eventually I could wean her off these and she could nurse without it um, but I'm so thankful for these, um, definitely not enough people talk about them and it really is nice too, even if your baby does latch to your actual nipple, just to have them so you can get like a break if your nipples are really sore and cracked and peeling. It just creates that extra barrier and I think that's a big reason why I didn't have so much soreness and you know cracking with the initial breastfeeding because I was using these. So I don't, if you don't need them, you don't have to use them every time. You shouldn't because um, you don't want your baby to get used to it. But if you just need a little bit of a break, I would recommend this. I think every new mom should have these at least available at their house. So loved these. So crucial for me. Okay, last in the nursing category is a boppy. This was really nice at the beginning when your baby's just really small. Just put it around you and it's just nice to like be able to hold them right here and not have to worry about like, you know, using your arms. Um, so I really liked having this boppy. Um, and then this cover is from Target as well. I really liked this one, but then there's also some more like neutral black and white ones that I got from Amazon. So I'll have these ones linked down below. It's just good to have the covers too because you'll get spit up and you know, 
stuff on this so you have to wa wash it regularly but I love this boppy um, the, my breast fr friend I didn't like I liked the boppy more so I would definitely recommend that over the my breast friend okay the next category is like hygiene health the basics all of the stuff that you just need to put on your registry. So the first being diapers, um, obviously. <laughs> the brand that we ended up really loving the most was Huggies. Um, we tried Pampers, Loves, Honest, so many different brands, but Huggies, I forget what the newborn ones are called. I don't know if they're little snugglers, but those worked so well. They were so soft. They just absorbed everything so well, um, and they just worked best and fit Amelia the best. So definitely re recommend Huggies over everything. We get ours at Costco now, um, and it's just a lot more affordable. So that's the Huggies I would recommend. And then for wipes, um, Pampers is good. And then we also like just the Kirkland brand from Costco. As far as bottles, don't go crazy buying a ton. Um, but what ended up working best for Amelia and she really liked was just the simple Avent bottle. So I would just buy like a couple of like maybe two different brands and see if your baby likes it, just so you don't have so many different brands um, that your baby ended up ends up not liking. And a lot of the times with baby registries, you get like a free gift bag and they'll have like a small like four ounce type of bottle so you can even just try those at first I wouldn't put a ton on your registry um, just a couple and see what your baby likes before you know buying a lot okay next up we have the nose Frida this is for those days where your baby is just so congested and snotty and they can't do anything about it so this is where this comes in handy I know some people think it's gross but I don't really think much stuff is gross but this is so nice you just put this up to their nose and go and suck all the snot out it works wonders it's really easy to clean and it's just so so nice so helpful the like little snot sucker I don't know what they're called oh my gosh I'm a nurse and I don't know what those are called you know the typical blue like aspirators um, those work but this is better and you get to see like what comes out <laughs> And then you could clean it, whereas the other ones you don't clean, which I do think is gross, even though I said not many things are gross, but I think that's kind of gross. So get this. As far as medications and supplements go, um, I don't know if I would consider this a med, but this um, is gripe water. And this is really nice if you have a colicky baby or um, just like fussy, gassy, this, or hiccups. Oh my gosh, guys, I told you I'm forgetting everything. This was so great for Amelia's hiccups. She had hiccups so bad in the womb, and then when she was born, she did as well. So just giving her a little bit of this cured them within minutes. And then as she got a little bit older, what I would do was I would just dip her pacifier in this, and she would instantly take the pacifier. Um, so that's a little trick that you should do. But this gripe water is natural. Um, it's not like a medication anyway. It's just like a natural kind of supplement. I don't know. It's made of like different extra extracts, um, like agave, purified water, glycerin, ginger, potassium, citric acid. So that is literally all the ingredients. Love this, definitely recommend you checking that out. Then also these gas relief drops are really nice as well, um, especially if you have like a colicky baby or really gassy um, and you're doing formula. If you just drop a little bit, like one drop your baby's formula and then kind of swirl it around, all those bubbles and foam at the top will be gone. So that really helps if they're, you know, extra burpy and gassy. Um, so those are the two that I would start with is getting these and putting those on your registry. And then as far as giving the medication, the syringe for a newborn is just not ideal. So we got the Medifrida and it's not necessary, but it is so helpful. What you do is you fill up the syringe and then you just attach it to this pacifier and it just goes right in this hole. And then the medication just goes through the pacifier. So they suck it and it swallow it right down. And it worked so well, Amelia loved it. So definitely, Try this. Then as far as a thermometer, you could do the like um, digital forehead one. But we got the Frida Baby rectal thermometer and I just think that this one is the most accurate. I know the rectal thing kind of freaks people out, which it did to me at first, but especially when your baby is small, they really don't can't tell what's happening and it's very accurate. So this one is really affordable and I am always confident 
what the reading will be. So recommend this one. Okay, for diaper cream, I would recommend the A&D ointment or the Bordeaux butt cream, but I found that the A&D worked best. And what I really liked is that it's clear. So it doesn't, it's not white. It doesn't make a huge mess everywhere. Um, and this just, this cleared up her diaper rashes so quickly, more than any of the others. So this is the one that I would choose. Not necessary, but nice is the Bumco butt cream spatula. This is really good for the baby, the, for the butt creams that are white that you don't want to make a mess everywhere. You just put a little bit on here and then just paste it on there. Bum. So this has been really nice and it's a handy little gadget. Then I can't recommend Tubby Todd enough. I love them. Um, they gifted me some products right when she was born and I have loved them so much. So the everyday lotion was just really good for after bath time. We use the shampoo and body wash for all her baths, but this one is in the lavender and rosemary scent. Mm, it's so good. So love this, but then I specifically want to mention the all over ointment. This gets rid of any of like that flakiness that the newborn newborns start to have it around like six weeks, I think is when it happened for Amelia. They're just so flaky all over their face, forehead. Just put a dab of this, just a little and rub it in and it will be gone in days. It gets rid of any rash. It's just like the miracle ointment. So definitely get the Tubby Todd all over ointment. Couldn't recommend it enough. Then I have the stain remover that every mom that loves to get out stains needs because you will have poop, you will have spit up and breast milk that is so hard to get out. Then when they start to eat, you'll have strawberries and raspberries and all the watermelon and everything. And you'll think that the clothing item is done for. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is not sponsored. This is a Pure C Baby Stain Remover and it's natural, free and clear, powered by plant enzymes. This works so well. Spray this on immediately after or even if you forget in days after, I spray this on the stain and let it sit for a little bit or let it sit for days. It comes out of the wash completely stain free. I swear by this. You can get it at Target, need I say anymore. It's amazing. Then for the bath, we use this Angel Care bathtub. This was so nice. I loved this way more than the like soft floral one because that gets, it's like a cotton fleece and it gets soaking wet and then like moldy probably. I don't know, I returned that one because I was like, I'm just gonna go with this. And this was so nice, so easy and fast to dry. We used this for quite a long time and Amelia did great in it and it's very affordable. So this is the bathtub I would recommend you put on your registry. Okay, then for bath towels, you really don't need a ton. The ones you get for cheap at like one Walmart and Target are really, really thin. So I would recommend just getting like one or two just thick, nice towels that you would like on yourself. This one is from Amazon. It, it, the brand starts with an M, I think like Natima, but it's just a hooded towel with the little bear ears. It's just a really nice thick material. This one just really gets her dry really quickly and I love it. So you don't need the like tons of the cheap ones. I would just get one or two a really nice quality one. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the on the go category. I wanted to show you guys this diaper bag. This is from the brand Miss Fong. You can get it on Amazon. Um, this has worked really well for us. I love that it's a backpack. Um, it's just been really nice. I love the leather. Love how many pouches there are. It, ha it has its flaws. It does. Like the, there's only a zipper on one side. I wish there was two. You know, simple stuff like that. Um, but here's what it looks like inside. I don't wanna to go too in depth, but like a pocket here, pocket here. It has two on the side, another one back here. Um, and then like a big storage space in the middle with two parts for the, two insulated spots for the bottle. So it really has everything that I'm looking for. And it was like $50. So this is the one I'd recommend. Next item to add to your baby registry is a three-in-one cover. So that means like what you'd use to cover your baby's car seat. You can also use it for breastfeeding. And I forgot what the other <laughs> option was. I really just used it to cover her and then for as a breastfeeding cover. But I love the Copper Pearl brand. Um, it's just super soft, really easy to wash so soft <laughs> like I can't say it enough it was so soft I loved it so that one I got off Amazon I'll have it down below um, definitely just like a three-in-one cover is a necessity and then you'll need a baby car mirror and we got the digital one where it's like a little camera that you put right on top of the baby seat and then you have like the digital monitor kind of like it looks like a GPS kind of thing right on top of your dash and we love that I love that it has night vision so that in the night you can still see your baby which you can't with just a normal mirror so I really liked the 
the digital one and we haven't had any issues with it so then you'll need a portable changing mat just to throw in your diaper bag even just use around the house this is a leather one so it's super easy to wipe down really pretty like boho rainbow pattern from amazon so we use this so much and it's definitely a necessity okay then you'll also need a wet bag or these little like bags that are disposable for any blowouts or if you're in public and don't have somewhere to throw away a diaper these bags are really really nice to have and they're like a lavender scent so it kind of covers up the poop smell but i but I'd also really recommend a wet bag just in case your baby has a blowout and you need somewhere to put the clothes um, That's just nice to always have in the diaper bag that or these okay next up are these little baby booties because Every time you're out and you if your baby doesn't have socks on some older adult will make a comment about it And it is one of the most annoying things and I'm like the socks don't stay on like I had them on her But they're not on anymore because she kicks them off So I found these little booties from Gumi kids and I'll try to link those down below and find them because These are the only things that stayed on because they have this velcro and you can adjust like how tight it is But I like that. They're not super bulky. They don't have any like sole they're just like a sock that stays on um so you could put if it's like if your baby's born in the winter you can put a sock on but then put this over it so that it stays on because she wasn't able to get these off if you're planning on baby wearing i really recommend the solly baby wraps um, these are so soft very like user-friendly once you figure it out and watch a YouTube video um, Really like this. I wasn't the biggest baby wearer just because I feel like my boobs are so big It was just like hard and I don't know I guess I'm just not the baby wearing type of mom I feel like I put her in the stroller more often or just like held her um, But definitely I think it's very good to have this and then as she got older like a more structured carrier We use the baby Bjorn and really liked that I like that you can like have it so babies in the back you can have it so babies in the front um, My husband used this more than me, but he really liked that and it was really good quality. So Definitely check out Baby Bjorn Carrier and then Sally Baby Wrap. Okay, next category is gonna be playtime. So I know when your baby is a newborn, they're not really playing that much, but I wanted to add some things that you can add to your registry because some things are a little bit expensive. So first one being the Love Every play mat and the play kits. We love Love Every so much in this household. I love that it's like Montessori based and all the toys are like made of wood or um, like a really nice durable plastic and um, We've just loved it so much. So the play mat she used for so many months because it goes It's adjustable and being a and user friendly for your baby for so many months. So we love that I think it's about $150 So it's definitely something that I put on the registry for somebody to get for you, but Definitely recommend that over any play mat. She loved that one so much. And then also you could put in your registry a subscription for their play kits. Um, I'll attach some videos here of Amelia recently with some of her newest play kits. Um, they have ones for like different age ranges. So if you get the subscription, then you know you have a new set of toys for every different age range and they're made specifically for what your baby is learning and developing at that point in time. So I couldn't reckon that so I couldn't recommend them enough. Um, so definitely add those to your registry. And then a more affordable option just for your baby to kind of lay under and be entertained is a wooden play gym. Um, Amelia loved hers when she was really little and like just would look up and stare at the stuff on it but didn't really do much. That was really nice. So I'll have the one we use linked down below. It was from Amazon. Then this here is just her little bunny lovey. It is so gross because she like chews on it every night and like rubs her face on it. And I really wanted her to have like an item that she just had like an attachment to. And she does and it's definitely this. So this is just like the Mary Meyer from Amazon Little Bunny. And I think I'm going to have to buy another one because what will we do if we ever lose this? So I just wanted to add this because I think it's so cute and she loves it so much. <laughs> Then I would also add to your registry a Jolly Jumper or um, any of the like off-brand versions. We have the Even Flow, I believe. And just so you know, the jumper you can attach the door, baby gets in, jumps, is entertained while you're making dinner. That was really nice um, for her. I don't even remember what age range, maybe like six months and up, she really liked it. So I would definitely add that to your registry. And then any black and white contrast tummy time toy. We had this little like trifold one that had little like crinkly images that was like a I would fold over I'll have a picture of it here um, I can't find it for some reason because she has so many toys now she really liked that and also had a mirror it's just good when your baby is you know doing tummy time
time and is stimulated by those black and white contrast toys. So we really utilize that. Then I wanted to mention some of the big ticket items that you should put on your registry um, that you can kind of do. A lot of the times you can make it so people can put money towards it, so like a fund. So the first item being your baby's crib. We have the baby Leto crib and we have really liked it. I love that it's just like a classic look. It's really nice. It's like adjustable and it can also be turned into a toddler bed as well. So we loved it. I think it's, it's still love it. We still use it. I think it's like 350 to 500, somewhere in that range. Yeah, it's been great. So I definitely put the crib on the registry. And then also like a travel system. So your baby's car seat, the, um, stroller, anything like that I would put on the registry. We have the Britax car seat and then the baby jogger, the baby jogger, I think it's like the city trend um, system stroller, which is so nice because you just add the Britax like car seat base attachment, it clips in, and then we have the chairs for it now for when she's bigger. So we have loved it so much. It strolls so well. This video is already long, so I don't want to go into too much detail, but I just want to say we love that. It definitely is pricey, so it's something that I would put on your registry. Then the last big ticket item is a rocking chair. This one is from Target. I love it so much. I love that it's like streamlined, but not too tall. It's not too small. Um, it has a really comfortable cushion. Like you could fall asleep in this. It doesn't recline. Like it, it rocks, but it doesn't recline. And the seat don't, the feet don't go up. But it's okay. The only issue is like I don't really know how to wash this stuff. So there's like some stains on it, um, and that bothers me because, like I said, I love to get stains out. But Having that rocker is so nice. You'll use it so much, especially at those beginning phases when breastfeeding. So I spent so much time here and now it's a good place to film. Okay, this video is getting so long, so I'm going to be done now, but in the description, I'll also have some of the items that are like not necessary, but nice to have, and then also some items that you can just skip out on. So definitely make sure to check the description and see what I put there. I just don't really wanna go into too much detail about them for time-wise. Um, but if you want me to make a separate video like products that regret buying or baby products not add to your registry, let me know and I can do that. But like I mentioned, I'll have all of those in the description as well. So definitely make sure to check that out and happy registry making. It is so much fun. It was one of my favorite parts of being pregnant, just getting to look forward to, you know, your life with your baby and, you know, nesting and all the things you need to get. So I really hope you guys learned a lot from this video and will utilize these products and that they'll be really nice for you and your growing family. All right. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.